Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Favorite Live Album by Year. So, of course, this is the show we're doing throughout the month of September here in 2021. 30 days of September, 30 years of live album releases. Each year is going to be a different, uh, or each day is going to be a different year. We, we started yesterday with 1968. We're moving to 1969 today. We're going to go each successive year for 30 years as we get up to the late 90s. Each and every day I'm going to pick my favorite live album from that year and my runner-up or my honorable mention. So today, uh, my favorite actually, um, it, you know, it was down to two for the most part. And I like both of them quite a bit. I think one, well, I want to obviously, I have to pick a favorite, right? So one prefer just a little bit over the other, but they're both pretty, pretty excellent. And I, any day I could kind of change my order on this one. But uh, my winner... Uh, was released in February 1969, recorded October 30th and 31st at the Grand Ballroom in Detroit, Michigan, released on Electro Records. I'm, of course, I'm talking about the debut album from the MC5, Kick Out the Jams. How many bands release a live album as their debut album? Right? How many times have you heard that? doesn't happen very often uh, so these guys of course one of the most infamous bands from the Detroit area uh, one of the early heavy rock proto-punk bands right very highly influential band had a very short career but you know based on the strength of this debut live album forever enshrined themselves into the hall of uh you know in really important hard rocking bands in the history of rock and roll of course the band comprised of rob tyner on lead vocals wayne kramer on uh, guitars backing vocals and and a lead vocal uh fred smith on rhythm guitar michael davis on bass and dennis thompson on drums so you know a brief album it's only what 39 minutes long i guess back in the day that's really not that brief uh, but some excellent tracks on here. You got Ramblin' Rose, The Raucous Kick Out the Jams, Come Together, Rocket Reducer number 62, Borderline, Motor City is Burning, I Want You Right Now, and Starship, the lengthy uh, closer on the album. Just good, fast paced, raucous, energetic, hard rock. Again, you listen to this, 1969. Punk was sounding not different than this, what, six, seven, eight years later, right? So, between these guys and the Stooges, uh, that to me was your genesis of punk right there. But this is just as much an early hard rock classic, you could even call it kind of proto-metal, right? Biker rock, whatever you want to call it. Excellent, excellent stuff. That is my winner for today. My runner-up though, you know, man, I almost went with this one. Because I really like this album a lot. I think this band probably has better live albums. But this is their first official live album. Released November 10th, 1969. Recorded January 26th through March 2nd at various different places. Uh, released on Warner Brother Records as a double album. The Grateful Dead. Live slash dead. I always kind of question the live slash dead. Couldn't just call it live dead, right? I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is... One of the great jam albums, the, one of the great psychedelic albums of all time. Uh, here is the, the Grateful Dead exploring into those lengthy jams and psychedelic freakouts and things like that. Uh, of course, it's got <clears throat> you know four sides of vinyl on the original LP, just a really long CD, single CD. Uh, Dark Star, of course, is legendary on here. St. Stephen, The Eleven, Turn On Your Love Light is fantastic on this album. Death Don't Have No Mercy, Feedback, and of course the ending, uh, and we bid you good night. And of course this was the classic early lineup of The Grateful Dead, right? So you had um, Jerry Garcia and Mickey Hart, uh, Bill Kreitzman, Phil Lesh, Pigpen, okay, Ron McKernan, uh, Bob Weir, and Tom uh, Corristanton, however the hell he says his name. So that is my runner-up for today, okay? But, you know, honestly, these are both pretty great. And I think the fact that we're talking about both of them here, and of course my wife picks now to start vacuuming, right? That's the way it goes. Um, yeah, so MC5, Kick Out the Jams, Grateful Dead, Live Dead. Those are my picks today for 1969 as we celebrate a month of live albums here on the channel. But you know the drill, guys. Down in the comments below, please list your favorite 
live album release from 1969 and your run up and remember I do want to clarify something because there were a million people in the comments yesterday picking albums that were released like 30 years later but they were from a recording from 1978 or 1968 I am going with release date on these okay so that is how I'm playing this whole month uh, and there's a reason for that because as we get into like the 80s the late 80s into the 90s not a lot of live albums being released but a lot of legacy live albums, right? A lot of archival releases from the 60s and the 70s. So that's what you're going to see a lot of probably when we get to the 90s, right? Because there is that kind of like wasteland of no live albums, whereas the 70s, you had a live album coming out every week. So for a lot of you who are like yesterday, we're picking stuff that was officially released in 87 and 92 and 97 and 2005, but, but they were a 1968 recording. I'm not going that way, all right? I'm going with actual release dates on these. So uh, that's... That's how we're playing it here. So if you guys want to pick otherwise, that's up to you, but that's not how I'm doing it. So uh, actual release dates on these. It doesn't matter when it was recorded from. The day it came out, that's how that's what we're going with. So uh, thanks for watching. Visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and click the notification bell. If you want to make a donation to the channel, we've got the link to our Ko-Fi page below, as well as the link to Sea of Tranquility's merch page, where we have all sorts of cool new stuff. Please do check it out. A lot of good new shirts and things like that. And then, of course, the link to seaoftranquility.org, the web scene that has now been on the internet for 20 years this year. We're celebrating our 20-year anniversary. So thanks for watching. I am P. Part. I'll see you tonight in the Monsters Den. Take care. Bye-bye.